Welcome to all West DIY Food Plot Pro. Thank you so much for joining us. The first plot of 2024 is going in. It is May 30th right now. We have had a whole bunch of rain this spring. Just prevented us from getting into the fields to plant the food plots. Came down here yesterday and put the fertilizer on. The soil test called for about 60 pounds of phosphorus, 90 pounds of potassium. So I went ahead with my standard formula, 300 pounds of 92330. That gives us 60 pounds of P, roughly 90 pounds of K. I put 175 pounds of nitrogen down per acre uh, on this plot right here. I have got a phenomenal stand of cockaburs here. You couldn't have got to this thick of stand if you planted it. But I sprayed this five or six weeks ago. Wasn't able to get down here in a timely fashion to plant it. My dual and my Roundup didn't last super long, and I've got a small stand of cockaburrows coming in here. I'm not worried about it. I'm planting Roundup ready corn, so I can come in here and have no trouble with killing these off here in about a week or so is when I'm gonna shoot for coming in and hitting my post-emergent pass. I'm gonna let this corn get up just a little bit. These cockaburrows are kind of protected. Then I'm gonna come in uh, with my post-emergent Roundup, probably Anthem Max, hit this over the top, clean everything up for good for the season. This field was not as affected as a lot of them were last fall, and that's for great reason. Um, I came in here last year about five days before the rifle season, just to check on everything. Had two and a half acres of standing corn here, just beautiful. Farmer's got about 15, 20 acres behind me. He had corn over there as well. And I came in here five days before my rifle opener, and the corn was completely gone. They harvested it. So volunteer corn's not an issue in this field. So sometimes uh, it looks like a huge deal, but sometimes it can be actually be a blessing. That's something that I've kind of learned through the years is don't get too worked up about any certain event as a lot of times you'll see that really wasn't as bad as what you thought. And that's the case here. We don't have any Roundup Ready corn because there was no corn for the deer here. Did get a really good chance at a big mature whitetail in here during the December powder season last year. Uh, the hunter ended up missing him just a little less than 100 yards. You know how the muzzle loaders go though. They can be a little, little trick. Really good plot, really good location. Bedding on both sides and then a, about two and a half acre food plot out here. I'm gonna plant in standing corn again this year and then I'm gonna drive T post in to make sure the, the farmer can't harvest this two and a half acres. So let's get to food plotting, guys. guys we got her whooped um, did a really good job planting it actually planted just uh, it's just perfect I mean that ground is just um, 
pretty tickled with it. Honestly, hopefully it all comes up, does good. This has been your pretty standard first food plot of the year. How much crap can go wrong? And, and it pretty much was. About five days ago, we had three and three quarter inches of rain. We had 75 to 85 mile an hour straight line winds. Really rough conditions, a lot of folks without power, tons and tons of trees down. I didn't think a whole lot about it. And the drive getting in here is like two mile down a, a path to gravel road. It's literally as wide as that planter. If you met a car on it, you'd be screwed. But luckily there's nobody down there. I get down here, I discovered that I've lost one of my tops somewhere along the hour long drive from my farm to this farm. Uh, I've lost one of my caps on top of the planter there, so that's always wonderful. Hopefully I'll find that on the way home. I get down here and I find all these trees that are laying out in the field. Well, now I've got to try to get rid of them. I, and unfortunately, I've got the forks on instead of the bucket. So I did the best what I could do with what I had. Um, then I get ready to start planting and my dang footrest falls off. There it is sitting right there on the tractor. Just falls right off there. So now it's like a three foot step up to get on the tractor. Not a big deal. The next farm I've got to go to is about an hour and a half tractor ride from here. And we're gonna go ahead and plant that. That is one of the fields that is a lot of volunteer corn. What we did on that field, we worked it three different times. We let it germ up, we worked it again, fertilized it yesterday, actually pulled my pickup truck and had the spreader behind the truck, spread that entire five acre field. We disc right behind it and we're gonna go try to plant it today. We got rain coming in Saturday. Hopefully we can get two or three plots done. I'm trying to get the ones that are furthest away from home done and then kind of get consolidated where I can knock a whole bunch of them out at once. But we definitely are behind trying to get caught up. So thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Y'all smash that like and subscribe button.